Hi, my name is Reed Kastner Lang. My name is Evan Lampsa. And we are the co founders and operators of Catch Up Please LLC. In 2015, I underwent open heart surgery to fix a congenital heart defect known as atrial septal defect, which led me to begin to think about creating healthier foods for heart patients. Reed and I began thinking about what foods inhibit people's health without them realizing it, and we landed on condiments, specifically ketchup. Reed and I have both been very entrepreneurial since a young age, and we thought, why not create a ketchup company? We honed in our niche, an organic, no sugar added ketchup, with less sodium than the mainstream brands that actually taste good. We began ideation for the company in April of 2018, which included market research, establishing a strong social media presence, and product development. Most importantly, we have completed all necessary steps to bring our organic, no sugar added ketchup to market, including becoming licensed to sell by the state and even achieving USDA organic certification. Our next steps in business development include initiating production with the cold packer, increasing regional distribution, developing new flavors, and ultimately growing nationally. We have some wow, for you. Yeah, awesome. some you guys samples. are great. So how much does the ketchup cost a bottle? Um, so it um, costs $7. Our goal is to get that cost down to 6 or $5 through production with a cold packer and more efficient ways to yes. produce and transport our ketchup. How did you guys find out that there was so much sugar and salt in ketchup? It all started um, when I had open heart surgery and I started thinking about creating healthier foods for heart patients. I had six weeks after I had the surgery to think a lot and I think a lot, so I, thought, <laughs> I did some research and when I brought in Reed, we did a lot of market research. We First, we found out that there were Produce sugar ketchups, and we're like, okay, that's interesting. We realized we that found there was, almost no product ketchups on the market that were both organic and had no sugar. In yeah, it. and so and most of them either tasted subpar the reduced sugar ones or had artificial sweeteners, yes. and most of the organic brands still had added sugar in them. So we thought, why don't we create the best of all worlds? Uh, we're going to create a ketchup, America's most common condiment. Yep. How much added sugar is in mainstream ketchup? About yep. 18, 19 percent, actually. So about 18 to, really, 18 to 19 percent of your yeah. average ketchup is sugar? Yes, yes. added sugar, yes. So your ketchup tastes really good. It Thank, really you. Does. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't have the added sugar. How do you get it to taste so yeah, good? So we are you use, willing to share some of that? Yeah, yeah. so we use organic stevia, um, which is actually 300 oh. times sweeter than sugar. Give your secrets away. Well, it, it's on our it's, it's yeah, on it's our label. Yeah, it's, it, it's fine. Where do you I mean, manufacture this? So right now we're actually producing at a commercial kitchen called the Petit Chef in Dousman. It's a shared kitchen. So how many units have you produced so far? Uh, we've produced about 2,000 bottles. We've had about $7,000 in sales to date, and uh, that's all producing ourselves. We produce in the commercial kitchen. We produce about 300 bottles a day, and with commercial a commercial kitchen or yeah, co-packer, um, they can do upwards of 30, 40,000 bottles in a day. Yeah. So, wow. Debbie, you are a multi-unit operator for McDonald's. Absolutely. And ketchup and McDonald's are so known together. Could you see a, a alternative ketchup that a, a franchisor like McDonald's would consider oh, partnering with? Absolutely, you know, because usually parents come in and they want a healthier option mm -hmm. for their kids, which is why Happy Meals went from using all french fries to apples. And so just having a healthier option would be great. Mm -hmm. And it's a value proposition, so don't lose sight of that when you think of justifying the price of what you're selling it for today, because it could maybe sell for even more. Yeah, and part of that too is um, if we could have a little bit of help on kind of seeing those consumer trends and understanding yeah. what people actually buy it for. Well, congratulations, guys. Yes. Yes. Quite Thank impressive. You. Thank you. Thank you. I love the whole concept of niche products and this high mix, too. low volume with having this business that you could actually, you've created something that, that has value today. But it's a good product. It tastes good, number one. And it's something that, like I said, it's, it's one of those things where if you're dieting, stay away from ketchup. Yeah. But if this is an option, that would be awesome. I don't know why you even have to be on a diet to have this. You don't? It well, no, really yeah, low good. sugar. Yeah. It, yeah, it yeah. does. It's just a healthier well, alternative. Right, right. They really got to stress the education. I, I didn't know. Yeah. I'll repeat, I didn't know that 20% well, of ketchup and sugar. sugar. Right.